please welcome joining us and welcome. Uh, just a quick note, we are filming and recording tonight. So don't sit on your ass all night. <laughs> don't make me use the MF word on you. <laughs> is to have a great time with all of you here this evening. The question is, are you ready? Maybe you didn't hear the question.
Have what you would consider to be a, I don't know, naughty partner in your life. <laughs> How many of you would like to have a naughty partner in your life? I think the world's doing okay. But you can always try to be a little bit naughtier, you know? For all of you who have that naughty person or would like to have that naughty person in your life, we're going to dedicate this one to you. Hello, Dirty White Boys!
I just want to say it, just so you know it, in this age of um, computer auto-correction and AI and all that stuff, everything you're hearing tonight is being played and sung live, all right? Yeah. Yeah. No bullshit show. Yeah. No BS that being said, I'd like to introduce these fabulous musicians on this stage, all right? Yeah. Over here, second to your right. Behind that tobacco, beautiful tobacco acoustic guitar is a man who's obviously spent his life mastering his craft. Uh, he's very good at it, and if you look deep down in his dark, soulful eyes, let's get a close-up on his... Can we get a close-up on his soulful eyes? Look, go close, go, go close. Go real close, come on, let's get close. Here we go, there we go. Be careful, don't look too don't look too long, because you'll see you'll see a history of vibe and soul and groove and meaning and harmony and beautifulness and a magical way to reach out and just touch you. I simply call him the magician. Everybody, Luis El Mago! Mago! All right, over there, that beautiful man. Yes, I'm willing to say it. He is a beautiful man. Yes, <laughs> he is. Uh, he has an ability to play drums and percussions at a level that very few can. And um, I'm, I want to say, especially that we've had a lot of people come and try to play drums for this band. I mean, really, really top guys. And uh, that guy's a heavy hitter. Yeah. Yeah. Make some big noise for Chris the Razor Fraser! Yeah. Yeah. Over here, next to me, this man playing multi stringed instruments. I sometimes I joke around and I say those six strings are his playthings. <laughs> because we joke around a lot. But in all honesty, sometimes I'm just uh, dumbstruck and in awe about how he is able to make the impossible possible with six strings. Yeah. So if you can, I want you to show him that he's the rock star that he is. Mr. Schiller's Bruce Watson! Keyboards. I can wait, go ahead. Yeah. You know, it's funny in the um, almost two hours of what we're going to do up here, you're only going to hear a fraction of what this guy knows and what he can do. Um, and, eat, and sometimes with guys who are really out there and know so much music, they can't get down to the simplest thing, which is like, serve the song and play what's tasty, and sometimes just the simplest thing, but do it in a way that touches your heart. And this man has that ability. He knows everything on that keyboard from the lowest note to the top note, yes. And everything in between. 
He is uh, truly, truly skilled, and we are so happy to have him with us. Michael Bluesy Blue Sky! Right here. I'm sure most of you know from the 80s band he was in where the harmonies were high and the hair was even higher. I'm talking about Dawkins. I'm just going to mention briefly that most of the show he's been on the chair, and that's from Doc, uh, Doctor's Orders because he just had a procedure to cure an old-as-fuck back disorder. <laughs> and the reason he messed up his back is because he's so passionate about music and he's in the studio creating music for so many hours, sitting there without eating, without talking to anybody, just there playing music and fucking up his back. <laughs> but his doctor told him he needs to take it easy for a while, you know, for a while he, he had to just rest and he couldn't lift anything heavy and that's why he didn't take a pee for three months. <laughs> but he, uh, honestly, frankly, is a talented uh, multi-instrumentalist, producer, engineer, vocalist, and person. He is 95% human. Make some noise for Titanium Jeff Bissett! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have the distinct pleasure right now of introducing this gentleman right here. Who, uh, many of you have known for the past 20 years has absolutely put 150% into fronting this band and taking this band to where it is now. And that, a lot of that is he is not only an amazing singer, an amazing performer, but he also happens to be a wonderful human being whom I love to call my friend. So please give it up for Kelly Hansen!
Jason. Oh. You gotta make some more noise.
have everything we need. But listen to me now. Listen when I say it. Are you ready? Here we go. You know the song. You know the words. Let's raise the arms and do this together.
beautiful and talented choirs on stage with us is to remind everybody about the lack of funding for school music programs. That's right. Music and the arts are usually the first thing to go. But music and the arts have the ability to take a young person's mind out of the place that they live in through history and through time and through geography to any place that they've ever been. So we need to keep that green flag. So please contact the school boards, the teachers, the local politicians, and donate money if you can to keep these guys going on their dreams, all right? Thank you for joining us. Everybody make some big noise for you. something that I don't normally do. I'm going to ask you to take out your phone. Yes, that's right. If you've seen me heckle and cajole people in the audience over the years, you'll be surprised to say, I want you to take your phone out right now. And I want you to, are we going to get that QR code up there? I want you to go to that QR code right now. Go to the rock, uh, vote .com and vote for this band to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall. Oh, no. And you can vote every day. <laughs> the voting closes down in late April, so you can vote every day and uh, you can make a difference. And we're uh, so proud to have this band uh, nominated for that. And it's because of you guys. It's because of you guys. Yeah. Like I said earlier, so, well, I, I didn't say this earlier, but many of you know that this is what we're Nick calling Jones. our farewell tour, right? <laughs> I hear the boos. <laughs> I guess what, I like boos. No, really, it's because um, these songs started out in the hearts of rebellious young men and it's very difficult to sing these songs when you're 30 and I'm 62. We're so I don't want to be up here delivering these songs like some other artists who you all have seen who shouldn't be out there doing them. I don't think that there's dignity in it, and it betrays the legacy of this great catalog of songs and your devotion and really your support over the last almost 50 years. So. Disappear off the face of the earth, and he's not going to tour nine months a year anymore. So, four more it's years! <laughs> four more years! It's amazing. There's been a lot of musical water under the bridge, and we are so grateful. Us as musicians who play music for a living uh, understand, realize, and really take to heart what it means to have had you people supporting us for all of that time. So, thank you so very much. Thank you.
them on Instagram. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. It's so long. We love you guys. Good Anybody about a CD or Rhino, please.